Okay, so I'm making a video I should have done like over a month ago, but I want to talk about the 4K release of Top 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 Gun Maverick. I don't know why that was so difficult to say. So I normally don't buy 4K movies brand new when they come out. I usually wait a year or two and then kind of get whatever 4K movies I want uh, because I buy a lot of my stuff used with physical media or when it's on sale. So I typically get it when it's just as cheap as I can possibly get it. But Top Gun Maverick was kind of an exception to the rule where I saw this in theaters in IMAX and I was like, I need to get this like ASAP, like as soon as it comes out, need it, need it immediately. And I was a little bit worried because I was confident that the home media release would be good. And it is good. It's great. In fact, it's probably one of the best 4K releases I've ever seen. But it was, there was still that thought in my head, like, oh, what if they screw it up? What if they don't? No, they didn't screw anything up. It's fantastic. This is one of the best 4K releases out there that you can get. I think, like, whenever they advertise 4K TVs inside of, like, Costco and Best Buy and places like that, they're going to be showing scenes from this movie just because of how crisp and clear and how great everything looks. For reference, I did, I did watch this uh, using my PlayStation 5 as the media player, and I have, like, a cheap Amazon fire 4k tv it's about i don't know 55 inches maybe something like that and the speakers i don't know what speakers I, we i have my roommate hooked them up but they're pretty good speakers like everything usually sounds really good coming out of them so i have an okay setup i have a passable setup at best but I think the movie, this is really well optimized for home media release. I think a lot of 4K movies, oftentimes when they get put into 4K, one, I don't think a lot of movies should be in 4K, which is kind of controversial to say. I'm on physical media people. A lot of movies don't look good in 4K, unfortunately, because they, the number of reasons, but a lot of stuff just doesn't. This is an exception. This looks great in 4K and everything about it is top notch. Audio, visuals, Special features maybe could have been a little bit better on this release, but I won't hold it against the me me physical media release too much because I feel like special features are now like even in like or like a collector's edition thing. Like you have to get like the special special edition if you want special features for your thing. But overall, really good release. I think one of the most impressive things about this movie is, although shifting aspect ratios are something that usually distract me a lot. One, I didn't really notice it in theaters when I was watching it. I was pretty enthralled in everything, so I just, I didn't really notice it, or I didn't really care that there was a shifting aspect ratio between IMAX and widescreen formats, and I noticed it immediately on this, watching it at home, but it didn't bother me, and I think that's because of the, I don't know, the quality of the imaging images in general i mean i'm not sure all of the cameras and the tech technical specifications that they use to film this movie but i think one of the big problems when you do an aspect ratio change in a movie is one you have to be consistent with it i think it's good to do it in blocks and two um, you have to have make sure you're using the best widescreen lens and the best widescreen cameras you can because you're going to be immediately comparing that to imax so it's really hard to shift between those two when you just watch something in imax you go to regular widescreen, you're like, I, I there's just a there's a jump here. And you can notice it still. It's still there, but it's not bad because both images still look great. In fact, there are some widescreen um sequences in this movie, just like regular, you know, just not non-dog fight and stuff where I'm like, this looks as good as any IMAX scene, I think. But that's just my personal opinion. I think the scenes looked good even in widescreen. And although I'm glad they filmed this in IMAX and I'm glad we got that IMAX experience in theaters. I think just with the quality of imaging and the, the effects and the color grading of everything, it looks great. I don't think this movie looks cheap at any point with its visuals. There are some special effects where I did notice them. Like I would notice like, okay, that jet is clearly been cropped in. Like this formation is not natural. There's just, it doesn't line up. Or some of the stunts where I'm like, Clearly, I knew going in, like, okay, they didn't actually let Tom Cruise fly this jet between two other jets. I just knew that going in, so maybe I'm a little biased because, like, I inherently know they just didn't do that thing. But I'd be hard-pressed to say that, like, there are some sequences in this where the, the where they use special effects, and I just have no idea. I just have no fathom of, of doubt in my head that there are sequences that use special effects that are completely unnoticeable. And I would put a lot of money in saying even the scenes that I, I noticed, 90% of people aren't going to notice. And 
the 10% of people who do notice aren't going to care. They're not bad by any means. They're not like subpar sequences. They're just moments where I'm like, I just know they did. Audio, perfect. <laughs> there is no complaint with the audio. Everything sounds so crisp. Like every, I have this huge problem with some movies. It's just audio mixing. Like either dialogue is too low, background noise is too low. There's too much noise. Like there's always something going on that I think just distracts from the actual goal of the scene. And I think this film really focuses really, really well on the sound of like the missiles, the jets, all that kind of stuff. Everything sounds great. I, I'm trying to think of a sequence where I notice the audio mixing, like kind of going in and out or having problems. And I honestly can't. I think I don't think at any given point I was struggling to understand the characters, struggling to try to hear what's going on. Everything has great folly work. Everything is really well done. There is money in this movie and it shows. The 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 money is just on the screen at any given point. They're just I, I I know I just want to talk about visuals again though because they're so beautiful. It, th there are just so some sequences and moments in this film that are just so pretty and beautiful and just so well shot and whoever shot this, who's the cinematographer on this movie? You know who you are. You did amazing work and you should be awarded as as thus for it. So good job. You got the annual my approval of the year so great work um as for the general story and review of the film i mean it's probably the best movie of the year like action film i don't think there's been anything else this year that's been as good is it my favorite movie of the year that's tough because it's been a very good year for movies but honestly if you haven't seen it even if you haven't seen the original top gun I would highly, highly recommend the 4K release of this if you have like a 4K player and if you have a 4K television at your, you know, home media, whatever. Um, if you can see this in theaters, I don't know if it's still playing in theaters, but if you can find a place that's still playing this, go see it. Even if you can't see it in IMAX, I think just on a bigger screen really helps the experience of this movie. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great release. If you're looking to pick this up, go do it. Like, I wouldn't even wait for this to be on sale. This is one of the rare circumstances where I think full sticker price is appropriate for this because it's it's a great release. Um, and I don't say that very often. I'm a cheap bastard. But thank you guys for watching the video. Um, kind of wanted to do something different. It's just kind of fun. I wanted to talk about this because it's one of my favorite movies of the year. I know I didn't really review the movie, but I kind of wanted to talk more about just how it felt watching this at home. 10 out of 10 experience at home. Wish I could see this in IMAX again hoping maybe there will be an IMAX re really somewhere down the line. If there is, I'm going to be there. But yeah, um, there's another video coming out as well if you're watching this right now. It's just a regular haul video, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and do that. And uh, if you guys have 4K Top Gun Maverick at your home, or if you have like some thoughts about this, or if you just want to say anything else, go ahead. I'd appreciate that. Uh, thank you everybody for watching, and you have a nice one. Bye.